Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Let me be one of the first to say to you, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022 on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. I want to take a look at this headliners promo that, as expected, is disappointing a little bit based off of the content that we saw yesterday. EA is not starting the new year off strong or ending 2021 strong with this promo. But again, the perspective of how insane Winter Wildcards was is still kind of in our mind, so that makes us maybe a little bit more drastic than you know usually it would be. So I want to talk about all the content, all the market movements that we saw yesterday, how it kind of went down exactly as we thought it would, as Headliners is a bit disappointing. Talk about this promo in general and what content we could see today on New Year's Day inside of FIBA 22 ultimate team so if you're enjoying the videos on the channel make sure to leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's take a look at this promo team which right now it's more visually appealing to take a look at these cards on a picture that ea tweeted rather than actually look it up in the game because as of right now when i'm recording this and i'm recording this a little bit early on new year's eve um, because of the of course festivities coming later before today on the new year um they don't have dynamic images and we don't even have dynamic images for the team of the week it's like ea are on holiday and a couple of these little things are getting left behind and there's a few of them that we're going to talk about today other than just dynamics but this is the team right exactly as it was leaked the stats are the same as the leaked cards that we saw so the leaks again were correct they were spot on um you know there are some nice cards in here. There really are. They gave out some solid boosts today. Reese James, again, with a solid boost. Acuna looks really good with the shadow. A lot of people are liking this card. But again, this whole promo is just really not as hype compared to what we just came out of with Winter Wild Cards. The Mbappe card, very expensive. Five and a half million coins on the market. Um, Van Dyke with a very small upgrade and Kunku with a small upgrade, but a nice looking card. And again, the they didn't change anything in relation to how these cards upgrade right um these headliners are basically the exact same headliners as we have had in the past previous years they will upgrade and they will all upgrade um based off of a, if a player gets a team of the week or a man of the match item so basically the best way to think of these cards is if mbappe gets an inform mbappe's new inform would be 92 rated and this headliners card would always stay one rating above his um highest performance based special card so van dyke gets an inform his inform would be 91 rated and his headliner would upgrade to a 92 so these are live items and they still have the streak upgrade as well which if a club wins four back-to-back -back games in the remainder of their domestic league season so it's all about a little four game win streak for liverpool psg all of these clubs that are here then they will get an additional plus one upgrade so and mbappe could be 94 very soon if psg can put together some wins but again just remember that it is only in the domestic league right it is not in doesn't count cup games doesn't count champions league it's only about their specific league games those are the only games that count towards this so some of these players even have games this weekend right today i believe on saturday or maybe even tomorrow on sunday for sure you've got liverpool and chelsea so you've got Reese James and Van Dyke both having a potential to start their win streaks uh, from there. So that's how the headliners work. Literally no changes from the previous years. But again, these are live cards. And a little bit of EA mix-up number one today to talk about as well is um, we have a issue with the loading screen, which I think they've taken down because just when I loaded into FIFA, it is not there. They show Ramsdale on the loading screen as a part of the squad, but on the website and on their Twitter, they show Acuna in the team instead of Ramsdale. So Arsenal fans, you finally have got yourself a special card, but I think it's going to be coming out on the mini release, which will either be today on Saturday or uh, tomorrow on Sunday. So there is a Ramsdale coming. I think that's obviously EA leaked their own card here, but it's not in the game right now. So if you're wondering where that card is, that is the situation with that item. Now, let's take a look at a, co a couple of these on the market, of course. First day prices are always very inflated. Uh, Mbappe was 6 million coins right off the bat. He's definitely dropping off right now. He's like 5.7. Uh, you know, EA are continually running the lighting rounds that they always, always run on promo Fridays. Uh, and the pack weight for these cards, we don't honestly know how the pack weight is. Because uh, if you go into the store and you take a look at the promo cards, it's been this way for like two or three days now uh, as the ultimate packs are not getting bought at this time. 
pack probability is updating. It said this for like the past three days. Uh, I think this is one of the things that somehow has just gotten left behind as EA are probably on some holiday break along with the dynamic images and that loading screen issue. It just seems to be something uh, that's kind of fallen behind. So we don't know what the pack weight is. It doesn't seem to be really high though. It seems like the pack weight's decently low. Um, even, although these cards have really dropped off in price after the first couple of hours, which usually indicates that there is a lot of uh, supply. It doesn't look like there's an insane amount of supply. Right now, Van Dyke is 720,000 coins. Um, his informs like 350k. So that's kind of interesting. One card that I think is really cheap at the moment is Reese James, man. Take a look at this item. 140,000 coins for this card. If you take a look and compare him to Trent Alexander Arnold, who is a you know, the most popular right back in the Premier League, most would say. Uh, the rule breaker version of his card. This guy is definitely better as a through and through right back and he's almost the same price. So it's crazy to see how low these headliners are going uh, for some of them on the market. Acuna uh, started off the day today at like 120,000 coins, shot up to about 180K and is now down at about 100,000 coins flat, which is just crazy because if you look at this card with a shadow item on it, this guy is nuts. You put a shadow on Acuna and he's literally insane. So this card at 100K, I'm sure is gonna be really, really fluid and really good in game. Uh, you've got Carrasco who is down uh, at like 100,000 coins as well. These prices seem really, really cheap for day one, but I think that again is just a testament to how people really feel about this promo. They're not a huge fan. And a lot of cards from the Winter Wild Cards team too have actually gone up in price, um, which is something that we kind of talked about um, on the market happening if this promo was not very uh, exciting, which it really is definitely not exciting for most people. So I think these cards are going to stay pretty cheap though, even though they're live, um, they just don't have, they don't have the kids all hype as we often say a lot on this channel. So those are kind of the cards from the team. Their prices are probably going to stay pretty stagnant, I would say, through the weekend. Since they're already this low, you might see a few of them drop off a little bit more. Of course, there's always the variable of what is EA going to do content-wise? Are they going to drop preview packs? Are they going to drop uh, a big-time icon repeatable SBC that everybody wants? And I really think that we are going to get an icon upgrade SBC of some sorts decently soon on this game. So it's kind of a waiting game as well for some of that stuff. Could that drop some of these headliners lower? Absolutely it could. But let's look at some of the other content really fast and then we'll get into the market side of things. The SBC that we had yesterday, we had a couple SBCs, uh, but the player SBCs, no headliner player SBC. We had a showdown between Kovacic and Kieta and a lot of people don't think that these cards really fit the bill. Yes, they're nice. They're decent cards. Kieta and Kovacic don't often get special cards in FIFA. So if you're a Chelsea or a Liverpool fan, you're probably doing either of these SBCs. But again, it's all about perspective from that angle. 100,000 coins. These cards look okay. But also what's interesting is the game is in question. So um, if you're doing one of these in hopes of the upgrade, if the game for this, this weekend tomorrow were to be postponed or canceled because of uh, COVID, then I would assume that EA would still honor that upgrade and they would keep the SBCs, uh, you know, like whenever that game is made up, then you would see the upgrade for these cards after that game. Because of course the game will be made up since it's a Premier League game, I would believe. And uh, so I think you just have to wait until that game is actually played. So just kind of a word of thought there. Um, but other than that, we had a... They dropped some sort of, yeah, super sub SBC, which is, this is this is kind of different. A coin boost, uh, 500 coins for five matches. Interesting. Uh, and then a rare gold pack. But that was kind of all the content in the SBC section. Now, the best content of the day yesterday was literally in objectives, which last year in FIFA 21, we had some nutty objectives. Uh, but this year, they haven't been that good. I think this Felipe Anderson card is the best objective item that we have got this year, in my opinion. This card looks insane. They gave him a massive upgrade over his 84. Of course, you're hoping for Lazio and Felipe Anderson and specifically himself to perform very well and this card could upgrade further. Um, a lot of people are like, man, I have Vinny Jr. Why do I want this card? It's free, literally 10 games. 
in a max chemistry friendly mode this is such a w right that's why it was a like look at this card stats right 95 balance 93 agility 90 composure he has 94 shot power 91 long shots and the finesse shot trait he is four star four star at the very least do this objective for your syria squad uh for icon swaps because the icon swap friendlies that have been released uh they're going to re-release new uh icon swap stuff and syria was one of them but you know they could very easily release syria stuff again or require you to play syria squad battles games so for icon swaps in the future and just for other objectives in this game i just think that that uh felipe anderson is is a big w and actually for one of the first times on this game yesterday you saw a objective player have so much hype that other items on the market rose up in price because everybody was going to do that objective and they were going to link him. This Malinkovich Savage was 100,000 coins and he's now up like 20 to 30K because of the link that he has to Felipe Anderson. So W right there with that Felipe Anderson. But it just felt like the whole game yesterday, people were not very excited. But with that being said, you saw a lot of players from Winter Wildcards Team 2 actually rise up in price now i think yes these cards have risen up and there are some nice profits here but i can only imagine that the rises in price on these cards would have been so much greater if there weren't as many people investing in these but we talked about it in the past couple videos as well a lot of people have invested in this guy delaying right and i can only imagine if there was no investing uh, previous to today uh, because when people invest in cards like this they're expected to go up like right away so this guy's up like four to five thousand coins so i bet if you go on the market and look people are already selling this card because it's up in price and they're happy with it um but you know i i do think that a lot of these cards have risen up nicely like martial was like 740 he's now 790 Alessandrini is up like 10k. Lucas Moura was 560. He's now 600k. Sterling was 360. He's now 400,000 coins. Uh, these cards are, there's nothing stopping them, really. Like, these cards could continue to rise on this game for the next couple of days if the content is continually lackluster. So if you've invested, unless EA do something crazy, these cards are just going to continue to rise up because they are more hyped, more usable. And more people want them than they do with these brand new headliners on this game. So that's my advice to you with some of these cards. Now, if you expect EA to drop preview packs, which would be, you know, something we haven't seen in a long time, or for them to drop an Icon SBC, if there is big content that comes very soon, this is what I'll tell you if you've invested in these cards. Right after a lot of people invest in a, like, in a cards like this for out of packs, if there is a big SBC or some insane content like an icon repeatable or um, an icon player pick or something that you know makes everybody panic, maybe even if they drop preview packs for the for the first time in a long time, uh, you would probably see a lot of this stuff crash because people would be selling their investments so that they could get coins and you know buy the cards that they need to buy. Uh, to get involved with that new content. So that's the only caveat that I would say with these. I mean, Genduzi big big rise on Genduzi crazy price rise on him i mean like he's up he's 190,000 coins and i really don't think this guy's gonna stop because he is so op in this game i've seen him a lot in weekend league so many people are using him so if you have a card like this a lot of the links right now that are hyped are also league one and french so that's why he keeps rising and he keeps rising up higher in price so just be careful with some of these cards i would say um but there's really nothing stopping them right now except for EA dropping insane content, which we have not seen a lot of insane content recently. So um, the recent history is on your side if you invested in those. So GG's if you did. Now yesterday as well on the market, I went the icon route um, and also with some other panic sold items. I bought two Mbappe informs at 1.9 million coins flat because I knew that the headliner today was going to be very overpriced. And you know, Mbappe has bounced back, but he's really only at like 2 million coins. So he's bounced back 100K. I was really hoping for this card to go back to like 2.1, which I am going to hold off and, and not sell him right now for a tax loss or break even. At the moment, I'm going to wait on that and hopefully he rebounds back up a little bit more uh, since the brand new Mbappe is literally more than double of the first Mbappe in price. Now, I did buy some other icons. We talked about icons were a great place on the market yesterday and other out-of-pack specials. I bought two Desai's at 699,000 coins, basically 700k flat, and he is probably going to be able to sell around 800k. I bought a Baby Blanc 
for 600,000 coins, and I believe he's like 630 or 640 at the moment. There's a few of those up, so I'll hopefully sell that a little, little bit later on. Um, I bought a Cannavaro. So I, ba I basically just went out and bought some rare icons that a lot of people like to use in this game that constantly move in price. I got Cannavaro at, wow, 521. So he was just 540. I'm probably going to be able to sell this at like 540, I believe, later on. Uh, just as a lot of these cards are rare and a lot of people went back and bought cards up that they originally had in their teams because the new cards that came out or the new content that came out you know, didn't make them want to go change anything. We talked about Luis Suarez as an example in one of last night's videos. Luis Suarez was 310,000 coins just yesterday before the content drop. He's back up to 350K. Uh, another rule breakers example was Phil Foden. Phil Foden was 240,000 coins. He's now up to 260K, I believe, maybe even 250 right now. Yeah, but he was like he was like 235, 240, and went up to 260. So a lot of cards just rebounded yesterday. They just flat rebounded, and that is exactly what we expected. So if you took any of those tips and you made some coins yesterday from that, GG's. Um, I think like this Ice Jesus went from 480 to like 520. Fire Jesus was at 800k flat, and he's now 880,000 coins. So there was a ton of movements on the market yesterday as well. Prime icons. Are kind of all over the place. Like Cannavaro was low, he's now up a little bit more. So icons were a great place to be on the market as well. But you know, again, it just continues the feeling that the promo, uh, that this content in FIFA right now is just it's interesting, right? And a lot of these cards, yes, they're kind of looking pretty cheap for a first day price. And also, what we do to to like really realize is a card cheap or is it expensive? Is it, we look at these cards um, as a percentage point of their price range. And that's one thing that I want to show you guys right now is take a look at like, um, let's see, who's a good example. Re look at Reese James. Reese James' price range is 650,000 coins. He's only 16% of his price range right now at the moment. Um, that That's kind of like very crazy for these cards. That's why I'm saying they're very low. Uh, Kulabali, he has a kind of a higher or lower price range, 450,000 coins. Uh, but a lot of these cards are on the very low end of where their price ranges are set. Um, and I think that's like in Kunku as well. And Kunku is 31%. He's 400K and his 1.3 mil price range. Usually for a day one for a promo team, like your price ranges, they're in more like the 60 to 70% range as a lot of the cards are still brand new. Um, and then they drop off further throughout the week. Like Martial was 1.1 million coins first weekend out of a 2.5 mil price range, right? That's like, you know, 40 to 50% of his price. And now he's down at 790K. So he's like half of what he was. You know, these cards look really cheap for the first day. So um, until we actually figure out what the pack probabilities say and they tell us, EA is going to continually run lightning rounds and that's going to push these cards probably a little bit lower. Um, I do think that there are some cards still out of this team that are popular. So you might see some more fluctuations into today um, around the content drop. And even after the content drop today on Saturday with guys like Mbappe, guys like Acuna, who I still think looks like an insane card for 100,000 coins. Really, really crazy uh, that this card is this cheap for how good that he looks. Um, so, you know, we're, we're going to keep an eye on some of these. And, and these guys are decently rare. So rarity means fluctuation around in price as well. Like Van Dyke only has like six or seven pages and stuff like that. So again, what I want to talk about is this promo, yes, is a bit of an L, but there's going to be plenty of opportunities. This is the type of market that if you like trading and you like quick flipping cards and you like fluctuation trading with icons or with out of pack special cards, I bought a Fred at 230. Luckily, uh, the Kovacic and the Kieta cards were under uh, or overpriced and under hyped. So this Fred card, I think even bounced back. Is he 250 right now? Yeah, 250. And that might be the cheapest one on the market. Yeah, like Fred is almost 260K. I bought my Fred at like 230. So, you know, when you're in a market like this that seems very quiet, stagnant, uh, a lot of prices kind of rise up as people have coins, they're opening the lighting rounds and they're buying cards that are more popular like the Winter Wild cards, but it makes it such a great time to trade. It makes such a great opportunity to flip cards on this game, cards that maybe dropped. Uh, like if we do find this uh, Suarez graph, and, you know, not that this happens every single day, but there's going to be people that will sell cards today on Saturday heading into the content drop. You can see Luis Suarez was 350K. 
he went down right before the content drop to like 320. And I, I know for a fact he was like 310 to 315 on snipe during that period. And now he's back to 350, almost pushing 360K. So those type of fluctuations that you can see, and maybe we'll need to, we need to make a specific video about how to fluctuation trade because if the content is very slow throughout this whole entire week, this is gonna be a fantastic week where a lot of people will not want to work the market because it's not going to be, you know, like crazy content all over the place and, you know, the market will feel kind of stagnant. It's gonna be a great week to trade. It really is gonna be such a fantastic time on the game to trade with cards uh, that are rare and out of pack. So maybe we'll make a video on that later on this week uh, just so you guys can kind of tune in to some of that fluctuation trading methods if the content does stay pretty quiet. Now, let's talk about today. Today on New Year's in FIBA 22, what are they gonna do for the content, right? Um, I think that we might see a headliners player SPC. A lot of you guys are wondering, where in the world, why does Vinicius Jr. not have a headliners? Well, this is a two week promo, right? These cards are in packs for one week, and then the second week, there's gonna be a whole nother team. So, of course, if it's a two week promo, they're not gonna release all the big guns you know, so to speak, in the first week so that they don't have any packs to sell in the second week. So there's probably going to be a lot more selling and anticipation on this 86 rated Vinny Jr. and all the other Vinny Jr. special cards this week, because it would be very likely that he gets another promo card. It would be an 87, I believe. Maybe actually if they're upgrading over a player of the month, which I don't know if we have any good examples because in Kunku, actually, you know what we do. So in Kunku got an 89 rated card, um, because of his 88 rated player of the month, these, uh, these 88, this team, of the group stage, they said this year, and they don't even say it in here. These team, of the group stages are not considered performance based anymore. So I think player of the months would, uh, be considered performance based. So I think for Vinny jr, his brand new card would actually be an 88. I think that an 88 Vinny jr might be coming out next week. Uh, and that would be very interesting, especially for a lot of people that just did, the 87 Vinny player of the month, that's going to be a very interesting thing to see what happens on this market if they do that. So EA could very obviously make it an 87 again. If they wanted to, we'll have to see what they decide, but that could be another Vinny coming out later this week. So just kind of think ahead for maybe the week two of headliners as well as there's going to be more players. And you know what we're really going to start to think throughout this next week is yo, when's team of the year? And a lot of people are going to start to ask about team of the year and think about team of the year. And you know, that might cause some people to also start selling off some cards that are on the high tier end of things. I know Zlatan rebounded a, a little bit. He was three, he was almost 3.1 million coins after being 2.8. He's now back down in the two nines again, but a card like this, a card like the winter wild cards Neymar, I would hundred percent expect these to be sold off heading into the team of the year time period, just because, um, you know, there's going to be some insane cards coming out. So that's kind of on the horizon, but you're probably going to hear a lot more rumors team of the year related as people start thinking about what's coming after headliners, because this promo just does not get people that excited on this game. So today's content for again on Saturday, we're hundred percent going to have lightning rounds. They're going to keep running all these lightning rounds because that's how they make their bread. And that is what EA does. So more of these LRs today on Saturday, probably in the late night LRs, probably during the early morning hours on a Sunday as well. I would expect a lot of those to be out in the game. Um, you know, Saturdays have been a lot of different things. Maybe we get a player SBC today for a headliner. Maybe we just get something. It's If it's going to really quiet down, maybe we just get another pack SBC. Um, I mean, there's a very slightest of chances that we would have some sort of like icon upgrade SBC. But again, as we kind of look around and we think about like what what is leaked and what a lot of people are saying is coming for content today on Saturday, um, we, we don't hear anything about that. So I would just say be very careful. Maybe stay tuned to your Twitter leaks um, and we will see what happens and if there's anything that's leaked regarding the content today, but I wouldn't be expecting a ton uh, because it seems like EA is wanting this to be low key. So that's kind of how it seems this market and how this game is going to continue 
this weekend. Trading with icons will be great because they're getting supplied the new primes. They're moving around a lot in price and they're still pretty rare and still pretty new. So that could be a place that you make some coins this weekend on this game as well with some of these brand new primes like Robin Van Persie. How? Okay, 1.2. That was going to say this guy is just way too expensive still, in my opinion, on the market. So there's a lot going on in this game right now, but there's also a lot of people are not too excited and it makes them want to step away from the game. And I totally understand that as well. Good luck if you're playing Weekend League. And again, let me be able to wish you a happy new year. A lot of great videos, a lot of great fun to come on this next year on the Foot Accountants channel. So thank you all of, again for the support so far. It's been absolutely amazing. And I look to keep it up. Nothing changes for 2022. Uh, on this channel, at least in my mind at the moment. So to another great year of content, boys, that's the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.